Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas and this is an update from a previous tutorial on how to export a character from Softimage uh, using the species plugin to the Unity 3D engine. Sync, since version 1.6 of the species plugin some things has changed so the workflow is not the same as my previous tutorial so I'm going to explain li a little bit uh, the difference. So uh, up to this point, what I did is to apply the mockup data to my to my character to the species default character, and um, I didn't plot any uh, any um, animations. So uh, okay, if you don't know how to set up the character um, and apply the mockup data, please check my previous tutorial since the workflow is the same. So one important thing to do, since the the main difference right now, the main problem is that if you try to export a character as it is right now into the uh, Unity engine uh, you will have some uh, skin deformation problem that is due to the bone influence um, inside Unity that is right now is up to four bones so uh, let's I found a quick solution on how to fix this problem um, and you have to tweak something uh, in both Softimage and Unity as well so what I need to do right now is to select my mesh and to set up the bone influence. By default you can select the, the mesh of your character. So to do that let's, let's expand the anim rig. Let's go to the geo render group and choose allow selecting members. Choose your character and go to the uh, white paint panel. From there go to the white editor and what you need to do right now is to set up the bone influence to 2. Okay, it's not absolutely clear how to do that in the way the editor, but what you need to change, what you need to, uh, to do is to uh, put the value 2 on the enforce limit. Uh, this is basically the, uh, yeah, the, the, as you can see here from the, from the tooltip, the limit of the number of the number of the formers that can affect a given vertex. So you're changing the influence on each vertex. And I'm setting two. I tried four as well, but with four, uh, as I will show you later, I have still strange deformation on my character. So let's choose two, hit enforce limit, and as you can see here, it screws up the the, the biceps here. So once you set up the the influence to two what i've i've found a quick to a quick fix is to uh, smooth the envelopes so let's smooth everything a couple of times of course this will change your enveloping as you can see in the ab ab abdomen area the influence on the vertex will change a little bit I usually, yeah, as you can see here, the more I press, I press move, the the more vertex, the, the influence will change. Okay, this seems pretty good. Let's do another two. As you can see here, look at this area, the influence will change. Yeah, there we go. So once you apply the smooth on the envelope a couple of times, you just need to hit freeze and reassign. There we go. Now the procedure to export the character, it's exactly the same as my previous tutorial. So let's go middle click on the anim rig, select child nodes and plot all transformation. Be sure to check fit plotted values with an F curve. It'll take a bit. Okay, you have this error here. If I can no. Here, yeah. How many dynamic in a local whatever, but it's I, I had the the same error in my previous tutorial as well, so looks like it's not a big deal. What but what I notice is that once you do this operation means that you have to reselect with the middle mouse button the anim rig select child nodes and you remove the constraints the eye constraints will basically broke so let's do this so I'll choose remove constraint and yeah they are broken I'm not sure if it's an error of 
the I don't know if you need to freeze previously the uh, the controllers because they are not at zero zero zero. But um, honestly, I didn't check, so it might be something that you can adjust easily. So uh, okay, once you basically remove the constraints, just export the FBX. Let's call test two since those are a couple of tests that, that did before. And yeah, the export, the crosswalk uh, exporter, you can leave everything as it is. As you can see here, I'm using the 2013 version. So let's export. And as from a previous tutorial as well, you will have a couple of errors because of the implicit, implicit geometry of the shadow rig. So, but it's not something, I mean, it works inside Unity. So let's see what will, how it will behave inside Unity. To be honest, I'm not too familiar with the mechanism system, the new the new animation system that has been introduced in uh, Unity 4, or I don't know if has been introduced previously. Okay. Okay, as you can see here, you have those errors. Don't mind. Let's open Unity, and I will import my test two character that I just exported, and in here you have to tweak a couple of things. Okay, first of all, okay, I like to set up a couple of things in here. Model 1, the scale will be 1, and you need to apply each time you make some modification. And as I said previously, I'm not familiar with the mechanism system, so I'm just going to switch to rig here and use the legacy. and inside the animation will just loop the animation that I just exported so let's choose uh, the loop frame and loop apply and as you can see here you have a little preview of your animation of what will be your animation let's drop the character directly here let's zero 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 okay as you can see, you still have, I'm not sure why, but you still have, as you can see in this area, and yeah, a little bit in here, you still have some spikes on the mesh. It's not perfectly three, per perfectly round as it is in soft image if we compare quickly. As you can see here, it's quite smooth, while in Unity it's, well, it's not perfect, 100% uh, perfect, but it's accept acceptable. So, ah, uh, let's do a thing. Let's import. This is another character that I exported from uh, Soft Image, and the main difference between those two. Let's see, 50, 0, 0, 0, 0. As you can see here, this character. I set up the the Im bone influence on this character at four, and as you can see here, you will have some strange deformation on the biceps. So what I found out is that the two is probably the best solution to export the character. Another thing that you need to you need to tweak inside Unity if you go to Edit Project Setting Quality. By default, this value, that is the blend weights, that is actually the blending between uh, the, the bones, the vertex, sorry, it's set up at 2. And if you set up this, this uh, settings as 2, it will mess up uh, basically the, 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 the mesh itself. And if you set up at 4, it is fine for this one. For this other one, not really. And from what I've seen, from what I read on the forum, on the Unity forums, four bones it's usually the standard for PC games, while two is used more often for iOS and Android games, since they can support this m this many blend weights or vertex uh, weighting. So let's take a look at the animation on both of them. Let's set up the camera. There you go. I don't know. <laughs> I have double. I have two characters on the same space, but uh, I have no idea. 
but anyway okay let's do this let's just delete the number three and let's just hit play and yeah as you can see as you can notice here you still have some uh, different strange deformation on the mesh itself but uh, I think that you if you will tweak a little bit with smoothing and with the enveloping inside uh, soft image and you export the character you can find the, the right balance uh, for the skin deformation so I hope it helps I hope that this tutorial helps with the uh, with the uh, how to manage the, the species rig into unity and well see you soon cheers